What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to add custom boot animations to the Steam Deck. Now obviously this isn't going to up the performance, but it definitely gives us a little more customization to kind of make your Steam Deck yours. And there are a few ways of going about this. Now as you can see here, we've got a mix of a few different ones. Here's a Pip-Boy animation that's actually really awesome. And the next one is The Office. And by the way, the Futurama and The Office do have sound. I just had to mute it due to copyright music in the intro. But some of my favorite are these console boot animations. And in this video, I'm going to go over a couple different ways. The first one is going to be just a basic pack that will allow you to download all of these in one fail swoop. And it's automatically going to randomize the boot animation every time you start your Steam Deck up. You could also create your own and add it. Or you can add something like we saw with Futurama. Pit boy or that office boot animation. So if you want to get this set up on your Steam Deck, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so in order to get this set up, we will have to move over to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. It's really easy to get over there. We're going to press the Steam button. We're going to head to power and switch to desktop. I personally think it's just a lot easier to plug in a mouse and keyboard, but remember this can all be done on the Steam Deck. You will need to be online in order for this to work. And remember, when we're in desktop mode on the Steam Deck, we can use the trackpad over here, just like a mouse. And when it's time to get to the keyboard, you can hold the Steam button and press X as long as Steam is running in desktop mode. It'll bring up our on-screen keyboard. Now, in order to make this easier on me and you, I'm going to plug my Steam Deck into a game capture device just so we can get a better look at the screen. So like I mentioned, there are a couple ways of going about adding boot animations to your Steam Deck. And uh, the first one I'm going to show you here is from this developer. I'm not even going to try to butcher the name. Link for the GitHub will be in the description. And this one here is going to add all of those retro console boot animations and also randomize them for us. Super easy to install either way we go about it. But if you want to go about manually adding your own custom boot animation or maybe even downloading one that somebody's already created and adding it manually to your Steam Deck, I would highly recommend checking out Liam's video from Gaming on Linux. Link for this will be in the description. They go over all the steps you need to do to manually add a boot animation to your Steam Deck. Now, for me, I don't mind downloading different packages. Personally, I like an easy setup, so that's the route we're going to go in this video. But just keep in mind, you can manually do this without downloading any packages at all. But the method I'm going to show you in this video automatically downloads a boot animation and sets everything up for you. Now the first one here are going to be these custom boot animations. And there's two ways to go about installing this. You can use curl if you want to. And I know there's a lot of people out there that just don't like using curl. The developer also completely understands that. So the developer also included instructions on manually creating your own directory, cloning the GitHub repository, which is going to download the videos and the boot animation.sh. And uh, it's actually really easy to do it this way. You could always use curl, but keep in mind when installing unknown software in Linux using curl, you always run the risk of introducing malicious software to your system. But you know, the way I see it really, if I'm installing unknown apps, be it, you know, an app package or anything like that, I'm basically always running that risk. But for this one, we're going to use the manual instructions. They're all listed here. Snap this over to the left hand side. I'm using a keyboard so I can press Control Alt T to bring up my terminal, otherwise known as console for Arch Linux. Or if you're just on the Steam Deck, we can head down here, system, and open up console right here. But all you really need to do here is follow these simple commands. So actually we can copy this, Right click, we're going to go ahead and paste it, press enter, and there we have it. So what we just did was create the correct directories. We downloaded all of those boot animation videos, the retro console versions, and the boot animation.sh. And real quick, I want to show you exactly where everything went. We're going to open up a file manager. We're going to go to home, deck, homebrew, startup animations. And right here, we've got the install.sh, we've got all of the videos here, and it's randomly going to cycle through all of these retro console boot animations. And this is already set up, ready to go. So if this is all you wanted, you're basically done. Let's go ahead and take a look at one or two real quick, and then we'll move over to another method. All right, so let me go ahead and boot this back up, and we'll get a random boot animation here. So it ended up using the PS4 intro. Once we're back in here, I'm going to do one more reboot and see what we get. And we got the Game Boy boot animation. 
Keep in mind, these also have sound. So yeah, I'm really loving the retro console boot animations, but you know, if that's not your thing, there's others that we can install. So we're going to move back into desktop mode on the Steam Deck. The next method I'm going to show you is very similar, and this comes to us from Bunny Strike, otherwise known as Deck Revealed, or Games Revealed over here on YouTube, a fellow YouTuber. Awesome channel, link for this will be in the description. Now one thing to note here is all of these are curl commands, but they were created by Games Revealed right over here on YouTube. This is something that I trust. You can actually take a look at the code and see exactly what's going on. But this is also very easy. Now up here, you can see that we've got Breaking Bad, we've got Frasier, Futurama, Office, Other, and from here, these are actually the same retro console boot animations that we just installed, but it's not going to randomize them on startup. Now, uh, this is actually really awesome because I believe that this is going to be curated and we're going to get a lot more in here. But right now, I mean, it's super easy to install any of these. We're just going to go with Pit Boy. Basically, we're going to open up console, otherwise known as terminal, on a keyboard, control alt T, or again, we can head down to the deck logo, system, console, but we'll snap this to the left hand side. We'll take this web page over here. And if you wanted to install Futurama, you can copy this right here. Same thing with Seinfeld or Pip Boy. We're just going to go with Pip Boy. I've seen that some people do have an issue on GitHub where this copy button just won't pop up. You can just go ahead and copy the whole thing. We're going to install this. It's a one liner. There it is. Now we're going to be using the Pip Boy boot animation. He's also created one here for your own custom boot animations. And these are all WebM format, so you can convert these online pretty easily. But yeah, if you wanted to do a custom one, you can follow all of the instructions over here. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Pit Boy one, because I think this one looks really awesome also. So yeah, like I mentioned at the beginning, this isn't going to add any kind of performance. It's just more, you know, kind of customization for your own Steam Deck. And keep in mind, you can always create your own custom boot animation. And if you do come up with anything really awesome, let us know in the comments below. I'd love to see what the community does with this. Really cool little feature that we now have on the Steam Deck, along with the growing list of other little modifications that we can do. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Links for both GitHub pages and YouTube channels are in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.